Kurt Gödel was born on April 28, 1906, in Brno, now in the Czech Republic, but then part of Austria-Hungary. Gödel had a happy and inquisitive childhood, earning the nickname Herr Warum, or Mr. Why, from his family due to his constant questioning. Despite suffering from periods of poor health, including a bout of rheumatic fever at age six that left him fearful of having residual heart problems, Gödel excelled academically. He attended primary school and later the gymnasium, where he particularly shone in mathematics, languages, and religion. In 1924, Gödel entered the University of Vienna to study theoretical physics. Influenced by the number theorist Philip Furtwängler, he switched to mathematics in 1926. In 1927, Gödel met dancer Adele Nimbursky in a Viennese nightclub. Despite his parents' disapproval, Gödel and Adele married in 1938 after more than a decade of courtship. Gödel received his doctorate in mathematics from the University of Vienna in 1930. He became an unpaid lecturer there and, in 1931, at just 25 years old, published his groundbreaking Incompleteness Theorems. These theorems demonstrated the inherent limitations of every formal axiomatic system capable of modeling basic arithmetic, showing that no system can be both complete and consistent. Gödel numbering, a method of encoding mathematical symbols as numbers, was also introduced in this work. But what does this mean in simpler terms? Imagine you're playing a game where you have a set of rules to follow, like in chess. Gödel showed that in any set of rules for doing math, we call this a formal system, there will always be some true things about numbers that you can't prove using just those rules. It's a bit like trying to write down all the rules for playing a game, but then realizing that there are some things about the game that you can't describe with just those rules. Gödel's theorems tell us that there are always going to be some facts about numbers that are true, but we can't prove them using the rules we've set up. After the publication of his incompleteness theorems, Gödel traveled to the United States and lectured extensively at Princeton University, where he formed a close friendship with Albert Einstein. They often walked together, discussing various topics in science and philosophy. Fearing conscription into the German army during the rise of Nazi Germany, Gödel and Adele fled to the United States in late 1939. He later became a U.S. citizen. From 1942 onwards, Gödel turned his focus from mathematics to philosophy. Despite his brilliant mind, he suffered periods of mental instability and illness. He had an obsessive fear of being poisoned. He would eat only food that his wife, Adele, prepared for him. In 1977, she was hospitalized for six months and could no longer prepare her husband's food. In her absence, he refused to eat, eventually starving to death. He weighed 29 kilograms when he died. Kurt Gödel's contributions to mathematics and logic were profound. He received the National Medal of Science in 1974 and numerous other accolades, including honorary doctorates from Yale, Harvard, and Rockefeller Universities. Gödel was a member of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States and a foreign member of the Royal Society of London, among other honors. Kurt Gödel, a man whose questions change the way we understand the foundations of mathematics, will always be remembered as one of the greatest logicians of all time.